Hello, hi, my name is Bevan George, and uh, or I'm from Rosens, California, so it's a continuation of my like, community based wrestling. <sighs> I noticed my first video on the whole gang stalking or slander campaign, they clicked, got more views than my other videos that I put out, and I had a different title. And I noticed that, like, there's some YouTubers you'll see they have like a lot of views, and some of them you see like very little. Well, actually, for gang stalking slander, you don't really see that many. There's no living, I don't, I haven't seen anyone get like a million views on any of their videos. The topics I'm giving are not really interesting. Um, but I do see that some they'll have like 30,000 or 50,000 or something like that, and, you know, I want my message to spread as, you know, far as possible, so, <laughs> I'd be very appreciative of people watching, but, uh, you know, but, uh, <clears throat> anyways, uh, so back to, like, the 30,000, 20,000, 50, oh, the blanket, the reason why I'm, my video has the blanket is because, um, my feet are cold and the socks are not really, I mean, shoes, ugh, shoes don't really warm your feet. I mean, it's better than, than barefoot, it's dangerous, but, like, you have to have really good socks, basically. And the socks I have, I mean, I have the money to buy good socks, but I don't. I get, like, the thin, they have, like, the ones for, like, boot kind of warm weather. So I don't have any, we don't live in the snow, so I didn't see it was useful. And the jacket and, um. It's just weird. It was like I had two options, like keep putting a bunch of pants on, like layer like like five or six different pants to warm my lower half, or no. I don't. Know, I just I felt warmer with putting the blanket and just, it just felt more comfortable this way. The heater, um, they on it a lot in this. Home. I don't really. Well, I I like it, but I know that their financial situation. I don't think you're really supposed to be doing this, but they choose to. So you know, it's California. You're not gonna die or anything with the snow and. Even back in the old days, they didn't have heaters, so if you lived in, like, as if you lived in a snowy area, I think they have, you could, you can live, as long as you have warm clothes, you can live. But then again, the first humans, supposedly created, were created in the Middle East, where the weather's warm, so I don't really have to worry about the weather issue. Um, anyways, then there's fireplaces and stuff like that, that's another option you can do. Uh, back in the old days, you can't do that stuff. You don't, they don't do it anymore. Uh, anyway, so that's my explanation for my blanket, why I have it mixed and stuff like that. Um, I was going to say other examples or whatever for my situation. Um, so examples of slander, bullying, harassment, mobbing campaign that I've had to like kind of experience or the bilingual challenge is during harassment, it kind of, I don't know if I should get to, to, to sexual sign language or if I should skip that topic altogether for a different video. Um, anyways, the body movements, there's like different types of body movements that they do and I don't know how common it is in that like you don't see too many videos on body language sign language just during harassment. I don't know, so maybe it's due to the fact that they labeled me a pedophile and so they're getting like sex offender registry harassment. Actually after having this happen to me I do understand that people on the sex offender registry get treated like crap. I mean I guess it depends on what they were found guilty of because some of it's not really that bad. Like you can be put on the love on the offender for peeing in a park. Which is real stupid. You know, but like if a person was like homeless or really ill, or that's I mean that's just nasty actually. I have to see I have to see why they wanted, but um, I you know there's always like going to a store or something and using the bathroom in there, so it's like you know walk your way all the way up there. Um, well that's not most of them. Most of them are on there for there's pimping that can go on there for too. Even if the clients were willing, meaning even if the, the ladies or the business, they all chose to do the profession because it's a crime, they will put you on there. But the prostitutes will not be put on the sex offender registry. But the pimp will. Even though the prostitute choicefully and will, willfully is giving her money to that guy, they will put him on the list. I guess it depends on the state you live in because not all states uh, do the sex offender registry for pimps. Pimps will get penalized in most states if they get caught. But, um... Anyway, so I was like, oh, that's not, I mean, that's what I'm trying to put. They're not really necessarily rapists, though. Like, people that get on the list are not always rapists. There's, was it, um, there's statutory rape, which is where, like, teenagers who have sex with other teenagers, you can be in trouble if the age gap is less than three years. Actually, sometimes even less than two years. They can get you in trouble for anybody that's over two years older than you. Depends the state you live in, what the age gap is, whether it's two years or four years. 
I think four year gap is like the biggest I've ever heard of that a state allows. But I think three years, two years between. I mean, usually it's a small more between there of age gap. And then, then there's adult versus teenager, stuff like that. So, I think it's pretty harsh. Put them on that list. Oh, I'm actually against it. As much, I don't really, I think they're really stupid. Like, to, for like a, you know, a 50 year old, you know, to have sex with like a 16 year old. I think you're really, really, really stupid. Don't get me wrong, that's really dumb. But at the same time, I think that's harsh because the kid knows, the teen knows what they're doing. They're not a victim, that's not abuse. So, anyway, so in our society, they deem that as pedophilia, which in my mind, that's not. Not that I support them, you know, not that I encourage it. It's definitely, it's just weird. It's not normal. They don't even have a job, so, like, they can't afford a good job. So I don't understand why you would want to do something like that. It's like taking advantage. It's just not right. So anyways, um, what was I going to say about this issue? Uh, not that I, I'm not trying to defend sex offenders in any way, but there are some roles that are just kind of a little bit harsh in that they penalize you very harsh in that you will lose your job permanently. So example, if you were like a teacher, uh, you can never work as a teacher again for the rest of your life. Your license is revoked for having sex with a teenager for the rest of your life. And that's harsh. I mean, that's even worse than the one year, the few years in prison that they give you. Usually they won't penalize you too harsh. It's usually, it depends how old they were. If they were like 15 or 16, then they would penalize you with like one, a few years in prison at most. They could go harder, but generally they could even skip the jail sentence sometimes. Generally it's very light sentence, though they could give you more. It's just that the jury doesn't feel like giving you more and that the kid knew what they're doing. So that's why they're not going to aggressively give you sentencing for that. The worst part is like the job, well, all of it, but it's not harsh. They, you lose your job permanently. You can never, in any state or, I, pro, I don't know about country, probably. If you ever wanted to do Canada or any of these, it's probably the same thing. I don't know. Um, it's harsh. They panel and same thing for police and healthcare. There's a lot of and a lot of social services and government jobs. If you do that, they, it's your job is permanently gone forever. Um. So, anyways, for one time, not not even like okay, you made a mistake once and then you do it again and again to different. No, just for one time. So, anyways, uh, I'm not here to defend them, but you have to admit the the rules are excessive. It's going a little overboard, in my opinion. Um, it's not really fair. But I'm not here to debate that. Um, I'm not here to try to defend these people. Um, anyways, um, okay, so back to the bio. Oh, this is not even right. I should probably have this on video. You know what? This could be its own video. I was looking at sex offender history and a little, little fast back. This could be its own video, and then I could start it all over again for a new video, because, um, you know what, I should probably end this video, and then start a new video, because, you know, I started talking about that, and that doesn't even make sense with what I'm going to go next to into my next topic. Um, so I'm going to end the video.